What does the Bible say about gender? Um, try to be careful with this one, but to begin with, um, it's important to know there are two very different ideas in the world about where people come from. One view states people are the great, great grandbabies of goo, walking, talking bags of protoplasm, or just a collision of atoms. And if we are, then there's some implications to that worldview. One, we don't exist for any purpose. We're just cosmic space accidents. We're, we're not made in the image of anything. We're not here for any purpose. We really don't have any worth and value either because we're just an accidental collision of atoms in the same way a, a tree or a snail is. Second implication is, well, there would be nothing after this life and how we live doesn't matter because this life is all there is. And if this is true, then we can do whatever we want. We're free to think that we're whatever we want to be. Maybe we're even evolving into something else. The other view, the one that I hold, is that we were created by God, intentionally made by Him, more uniquely than anything else in all of creation. In fact, the Bible says we were made in God's image. And if this is true, then there's some implications as well. One, we have great worth and value because of whose image we're made in and who made us. Additionally, we have a purpose because we aren't a fluke. We're, we're designed and designed for something. Third implication is that we then need to look to God in order to understand what it means to be a human made in his image. And in his word, he says that he made humans male and female. And, and this is actually written on every bit of our DNA, which makes sense because this is how God made us. And it's reflected down into every cell of our body. And so if we want to understand ourselves, our, our gender, our lives, we need to look to God and what he says about what it means to be a biological man or a woman that he created us to be. If you're listening to this and you're a man, uh, we're holding a, a men's retreat on the topic of biblical masculinity and what it looks like to be a man in today's day and age. This is an important topic, I think one that doesn't get covered enough. And we'd like to invite you out. It's taking place at Rock Ridge Canyon from November 1st to 3rd. And if you'd like to join us, there's limited space, so go ahead and just register up on praxischurch.ca. But if you have another question that you would like to hear answered, go ahead, shoot us a DM or leave a comment below.